All right, we're going to do my bunny sign tonight. Bunnies and bling, it's an Easter thing. And here is my newest gnome, our rabbit bunny gnome. He matches the sign. We've got our little cheetah print on there. And I already went ahead and started prepping the wreath. I did um, a 14 inch wreath base from Dollar Tree, added my own tinsel ties, I used 21 inch mesh and cut it at, um, well, did a ruffle at 10 inches. Hi Nanny Dot. Thank you Mamsie. It's appreciated. Yeah. Not much we can do. Just be there for everyone. It's hard because she left four children and a lot of grandchildren and you know what can you what can you do? I'm just glad she's finally at peace so because it's been a long struggle. Her cancer came back and it is what it is. All right we're gonna get started. What I did was like I said 21 inch mesh ruffles at 10 inches. Thanks Joanne. So I went ahead and I already cut um, these at 18 inches. I'm going to do um, the woodland ruffle and put that on top of the pink mesh. Now the sign you, I pinned to the top here the link to my other um, Facebook page where you can go and contact me at any time to order the signs. I started putting them on my website. So if you can't reach me at either one, you can go there and contact me through there. We're going to show you some of my newest signs tonight. All right, so I've got 10 inch mesh here cut at 20 inches. We've got yellow. And I added this blue because it had a little bit of bling to it. So I kind of want to stick with the theme from the sign and just bling it out a little bit. Thank you. I had some um, request to do some military license plates. So, going to get started on those in the next couple days. All right, so we're just alternating, doing yellow and blue, yellow and blue. And it's hard to believe that Tootsie's litter is 10 weeks of age today. Man, how time flies. I wish I would have started counting how much poop I've picked up <laughs> over the 10 weeks. Jeez, they're full of it today, let me tell you. They've been pooping everywhere. And one, she's getting a little bossy. She's telling us during dinner, you better feed me. And she had already been fed, but she heard the microwave. Thank you, Tammy. Hello, Elizabeth. Welcome. I keep looking at your pictures because there's Tammy. Your little girl's doing fine. She goes, they go for their vet appointment next week in that group. On a happier note, my grandson's doing really good. Got to spend some time with him Friday and Saturday. Gave him a break on Sunday. Gave him a break today. <laughs> what a cutie. And so, just doesn't cry. 
he is such a little sweetheart. You can't help but love him. Oh my gosh. He's so little though, his clothes are too big. <laughs> Looks like he's drowning in them. Thank you, everybody. I thought I'd do the blue, the yellow, and the pink. I thought that would really scream spring, right? Which is what we're all hoping for, huh? And don't forget to hit that SH button and share for me if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to try and figure out by tomorrow how to send out notification um, because after the 4th, we'll no longer be able to notify everybody through Facebook when we're going live. Uh, you all know I go live on Monday nights at 6.45 and Wednesdays at um, 2.00. But I may just have to start going live on Facebook. So if you haven't um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, you might want to do that. And I'll post the link later. I just turn down the edge a little because sometimes it'll fray and this way the fraying will stay to the underside. raising heck up there. Oh. <sighs> is what it is, right? Hi, Sandy. Hi, Debbie. I am post some videos tomorrow of the puppies because they're just getting so big. Not all are sold, but if you recommend me to anyone, please don't send me somebody that I shouldn't laugh, somebody that can't walk on their own. I had a gentleman come yesterday. Saturday he wanted to buy one and he couldn't even walk with a cane and I'm I'm like you're gonna trip you're gonna hurt yourself I appreciated the referral but that's just an accident waiting to happen so I had to um, tell him no and that was not something he wanted to hear and I felt horrible
So we got the bottom row done. Now we'll just start on the top. It's gonna look very spring-like. I still think my gnome needs something else added to it though. Maybe we'll put a egg on his beard. Hi Susan. These are cut at 18 inches. It's 10 inch mesh. You want me to show you my signs one at a time throughout, or did you want to um, wait till the very end? just watching while they're eating or cooking or everybody just relaxing after a long day. Signs now? All right, I'll show you a couple. Well, y'all know my grandbaby's new name, but this one is for Gordon. Hi, Teresa. Now, I don't have it down here, I don't think, but I'll explain using, okay, I'll use this. Now, I know this is a license plate, and I have some upstairs. Oh, cool. And what I want to show you is the holes here from start on this side. The holes where the license plate where it would attach to the car. The idea is to bring this up. Just cut a piece off and I'll show you. And like I said, I have thinner ribbon set up for this. But of course, I left it upstairs. Thank you. I appreciate it, Teresa. But what you will do is you'll go up through these holes. Let's take it to the end and do it the right way. I'm just using this as an example. This isn't what I have, but that way you can see how you would hang it up. Or if you order a sign and you want ribbon to match it, I can do that too. But I was inspired by all my grandchildren and their current likes or dislikes when I when I designed this series. Hey girlfriend. Levon's in the house. Okay. So what you're actually doing is you're actually just weaving it right through the bottom, up the back, and then up to the top. Now it can be shorter than this, or we could tie a bow at the top or whatever, but that's basically how they would hang on a child's door or a child's wall. Okay, so there's Gordon's. Isn't that cute? His, it's all um, woodlands animals in his room. The signs are 10. It gets personalized with the child's name on there, or excuse me, 12. It gets personalized with the name. 
This one is going to be for my granddaughter. Her birthday is coming up. And she's into unicorns now. And since we were doing a unicorn child's room sign, we went ahead and we also made a wreath sign. These signs are 10, these are 12. Okay, so they're the first three. There's more, so we'll just keep going and I'll show a little more in a minute. And I had um, a request for military license plates too. So I'm going to be doing those shortly. But aren't they cute? Oh, when you see the rest of them. Susan, if you told me what they were interested in, I mean, I'm sure unicorns would even be at that age, but if there's something specific that the 13 year old is interested in, we can design something for you. Or she has a particular saying that she says all the time, a specific color. Hi, Ann. Welcome. But yeah, I just, they're at that age where you just want to get them something that they're interested in. And they get so many toys and things. And the little ones, um, my two-year-old grandchildren, they're learning letters. So what better way to introduce them to their name than have a sign in their room with their name on it. <laughs> I hate. Okay, well, the unicorns are out then. And I'll be posting another one soon. One of my puppy parents, she's gone to visit her mother, and her mother's turning 90. And uh, she wanted something with, um, her mother loves butterflies, and her father loves pheasants. So we incorporated the two. So I'll be posting that because I just finished that today. They're doing awesome, Loretta. Pooping up a storm. Looking for trouble. They now know the sound of the microwave. So as soon as they hear the microwave go on, they think it's time for them to eat something. So. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Hi, Denise. So, yeah, they're keeping me hopping. You know, it's at this stage where some breeders just say, oh, heck with this. They're going to their new home. Because this is the hardest stage. Because they're just looking for things to do and you try and keep them occupied and sometimes it gets overwhelming. Hey Sue. Susan's in the house. Look at my bunny noom. This is what we're putting on our wreath tonight. Along with bunnies and bling it's an Easter thing. Yes. You got it Maggie. not an easy job. I guess it's not the right size. Where'd that come from? And I was just showing the first of the two children's signs. This is how you, you wrap the, the ribbon or the roping or whatever up through the hole, through the back, out the front. This is for my new grandson. And this is for my granddaughter. She loves unicorns. Yeah, I already had a lady trying to scam me this weekend. And it's like, I've been doing this since 2007, honey. I know exactly what you're trying to do. And I'm not falling for it. 
told me she's from Boston. Yeah. If you're from Boston, you can spell, pretty much abbreviate Pennsylvania. So, I told her to take a hike. She's still texting me, or messaging me, so I had to block her. Okay. Do a little bit of trimming here. There we go. Alright, now I think... I'm going to put the sign on this side, so I'm just trying to get an idea where everything is going to go. Maybe we'll just put that there and put a big old bow up here. I don't know. Got a base on the bottom. Hey, tequila. Did you guys all see tequila's sign and her apron that went out today? Awesome. All right. And you missed these. I showed the first two signs. New children's signs. You guys see those okay? want to spruce up those child, child's rooms. All right. I also have some carrots if we want to put them on. And these are the ribbons I'm using. This, this sign was developed to go with this ribbon. So I have that ribbon, the Easter eggs, if anybody's interested. So I've got and I also have this ribbon in stock, too. Aww. Well, I got plenty of Playmates. <laughs> All right, let's put, the, let's put some um, tails on here. Now, I'm going to put this on the blue making sure you guys can see okay. If you can't, let me know. And then we'll do this one with the bunny ears. On the yellow. Now we've got a base the base is a 14 inch wreath base with tinsel ties and I use 21 inch pink mesh um, and it's done in um, 10 inch poofs. And then we have the ruffles cut at 18 inches, the blue and the yellow. And then the tails are cut at 12 inches. And my tinsel ties are cut at 12 inches too. I do not use pipe cleaners. I do not like pipe cleaners. They rust and break way too easy. So I'm alternating the pink and the eggs they're going on the blue and the bunny ears and the stripe is going on the yellow. Thanks, Maggie. Hmm. 
No problem, Michelle. Thank you. I hope I'm seeing everybody's comments. My phone is fuzzy. This is my screen. I think I'm just going to put the bottom tails on first. And then I'm going to put my gnome on and possibly the sign. And then see where I need to fill in with the tails. That's the plan. <laughs> they are, they were from when I used to do um, upholstery and um, motorcycle seats, snowmobile seats, and I had a really nice local gentleman teaching me how to do it. And the one day he gave me those pair of scissors and I will forever think of him because they were heavy suckers or heavy or big. <laughs> oh, thanks, Susan. What kind are you going to make, Maggie? So, yeah, he was an awesome guy. He taught me a lot. Unfortunately, he passed away, but he will always be remembered. Yep. And it was funny, he used to go out and find odd jobs for us to do. And the one day he came and he said, guess what? We got a boat. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? He said, well, we got a boat. Okay. Are you talking seats? No, we're talking a cover for the boat. Okay. How big is the boat? Oh, it's not too big. We go to look at the boat and I had to climb up into the boat with this huge ladder. You should have seen the size of this boat. <laughs> I was like, no way. And he's like, yes way, we can do this. Oh my gosh. That man was crazy. But he, he, he had the, oh my gosh. And you know, you think a man who does upholstery, right? wouldn't have anything to do with a sewing machine other than the upholstery. This man would make quilts. He took neckties apart and made a huge, beautiful quilt out of these neckties. And I was blown away. He, he had so much talent. It was, it was just amazing. And I enjoyed working with him so much because every day was something new and and he didn't have that kind of patience with his children but boy he had the patience with me i don't think he ever lost his temper with me and believe me there were plenty of reasons to lose his temper with me <laughs> but he never did so I, I learned a lot. I can't, I don't want to do it anymore because he had some really special machines that we used to use and I don't have those special machines, but I will always hold on to those scissors just to have him close by. Because he was special. So even though people leave us, and it's hard to cope with the loss sometimes, they leave us with a full heart full of memories. 
so for that I will be forever grateful. All right, kind of liking where that sign's at. Now, where to put this guy? I think it may be here. Maybe up here. Then maybe we'll do a bow here or... I'm not liking the carrots now. So they're going to stay off. We may have to add some Easter egg bling. So let's put our gnome on his perch. Right? I've been buying the apron, Susan, and putting logos on them. Because I had some really pretty apron ribbon, but when you heat press, it has to be polyester. And the ribbon or the apron fabric that I had was not polyester. So, so I went and bought some. I just did one for Tequila, her ship today. I've done one for Missy. And I have one to do for Connie. I just posted Connie's logo today. Did you all see it over at my other page? Connie does a little bit of everything, so she kind of wanted a little bit of everything on her, um, in her logo. So I think we got it all. Yes. Memories keep them in our hearts. I'm sure my brother-in-law's family is going to have a very difficult time, but memories will sustain them. All right. Now, let's put some tails where I know we're not going to have a bow. Yes, you will be. Susan, you want a logo? Just message me what you want to see. We'll make it happen. Don't forget, I've got the, the bunny um, ear ribbon and the Easter egg ribbon for this sign, too. So, if you're interested in the sign and you want the matching ribbon, we got it. Is the cardinal in memory of somebody, Susan? there. Looks like, oh, we could put one here. Okay. Aw. That's a nice um, way to remember someone. Cardinals are special. Always nice to keep them near. I don't 
don't think I'm going to put a tail there because I think that's where we're going to do our bow. So I think we'll leave the rest of the tails off. Then we can add some of this. All right, let's just make the bow. Oh, well, I could just hold it up so you guys can see it so far. Oh, his beard's getting out of whack here. This Mongolian fur is, until it stops, I try to sew across the top before I lay it down because if you don't, you start losing hair. It starts shedding. And you all know I don't use wire. I use the tinsel tie. It's easier for me to grasp. So let's go with the um, big dots on the bottom. And I don't think I want a very long tail. Up. Oh, now see when I do this, I always end up going backwards. All right, let me show you another sign or two. All right. All right. All right, here's another one for a little, little girl's room. And again, you go up through it like this. Ready? This was actually the bear from one of the wreaths I did. I don't know if you remember it, but the bear was in the middle and it was a, um, a mirror. So that was actually the bear I used for that design. Okay, so there's one. surely hope that my daughter-in-law is not watching because the other baby that's due in June, this is for his room. They already painted his wall with this um, mountain and some hot air balloons. That's the newest theme now is the mountain or the woodlands. So there's two more. Okay. And we'll keep going. All right. So I think I'm going to go with the Easter egg. And because it's going this way, yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave that off first. three loops of the Easter egg. And this is gross green ribbon that I sell and it has the wire in it already. Oh, thank you. And then what I do is I go down through the middle loop, pull it halfway through, because I can't do this. No, that's not me. I just want it simple. So then I just lay it like that and get ready for the next layer. And then you tuck your ribbons up there. Okay? It's already tied tight and ready. Now we're going to go with this layer next. And 
me think here. I thought I had that other ribbon down here. The yeah, I do. I don't know whether to go for it and stick a little bit of the. Oh, you have to. It just makes it so much easier. And like I said, just doing it this way, just threading it through your middle loop. Should I add a little punch of the leopard in there? What do you think? Leopard or no leopard? I mean, we've got it in the sign. We've got it on his hat. Should we or shouldn't we? What's your... What's your pleasure? Yes, no? Because you kind of have that brown here in the Easter egg, too. Any, anybody think we need it in there? It's also gross green, and I also have that on, on uh, for sale, too. Leopard, yes. All right, Maggie's adventurous tonight. Way to go, Mag. There. You see, I'm just twisting it and folding it back up there. So much easier. I can't grip that darn little ribbon or wire. Forget that. I just like my tins ties. All right. So we got one row of the leopard in there. Just give it a little punch. You're on the fence. Be wild, Sandy. <laughs> we can always take it out if we don't like it. And then you just twist it. And see, this is right here. Just twist. I pull it taut, and then I just twist it. Ta-da! No problem, Sue. Thank you. We're working on our bow, and we've been showing some of the new children's signs that I've made. I'll go back at the end, and if you miss it, you can always hit the replay. I think I will use this as the last ribbon. So now, because my Easter eggs are going that way, I kind of want this to go this way too. So, this might end up to be a little bit tricky, but that's okay because we can do this. Now see, it's already going the wrong way that I want it to go. So all I'm going to do is give it an extra twist. And I'm going to come back this way with it. See, instead of going up and around, I twisted it twice and went this way. That way, I'm guaranteed my ribbon. No? Hey, Bobby. All right, so I want it all to go in the right direction. I'm sorry, that, I'm just, I hate that when it doesn't go in the right direction. So I'm gonna pull it taut and twist and leave it for the next layer. See how easy that is? But I'm trying to work on getting my Easter eggs going the same way as my bunny ears going the same way. So, my thing is, I'm just looking to see if there's not like a, another ribbon that I want to add. It's 
too much like that, but I think I have another idea. So I'm going to go with this one next. And see with the tinsel tie too, you can always go back in and push it towards your, um, what's that called, the boyfriend peg. I think we've all gotten away from using our bow makers and just making ones by hand and that can be intimidating for some people. So, and I really do like the uniformity of this bow maker. Takes everything in stages. Alright, now I have one more bow. One more I think that I'm going to add. I think I'm going to go stripes because I think this resembles the dots too much. So I think we're going to go stripes because it's a bling thing. Plus, we have all the colors in the stripes that we have in the ribbons. Just give it another little pop. Right? it tight this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll get her on there. Alright. There we go. I think we got some bling going on here. Get out the fluff box. Good night, Tammy. All right, let's see what this looks like. We tied in all the colors. All right, let me see. All right, let's show another one. Let's show two, okay? This is the... Um, Alex is the twin to um, Eve, okay? So this is for Eve, and this is for Alex. Alex loves construction vehicles. Oh, that's all this kid wants is construction vehicles. And then I thought this was really pretty for a little girl's room. Can y'all see those? Thank you, Sue. So those are the next two. Are you liking the designs? Do you think? What do you think? Oh, wow. This is, this is really going to give it some bling, isn't it? There we go. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Thanks, Susan. Yep, that's got glitter. All right. Now the next. 
next layer is our bunny ears. layer is Then we have our little bit of wild. Maggie liked the wild idea. She was on the fence. And then we have our Easter egg. Three loop. we go. I think all our colors look pretty good together. What are your thoughts? All right. I'm going to put this on. Pups are doing good. We're just at a crazy stage right now. They are so pumped and full of energy. Oh my gosh. And just make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel just in case because we're not allowed or I guess they're taking mini chat away or mini chat so I won't be able to notify you ahead of time when I'm going live. So, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you'll catch me there either live or you'll know when I download new videos. Yes, I think so. Because it's all there. you got everything that's in the sign and on the noon. So, my bunny ears are going this way, so this is the way I want my bow to go. Because I matched the direction of the bunny ears with the, with the Easter eggs. So there we go. Alright, let's put a bow on here. Hi Lillian, how are you? Oh my gosh gorgeous sorry guys when it comes out the way you like it when I'm saying gorgeous I'm not trying to pump myself up I just it's exactly what I envisioned and that's a win when you envision something and it turns out exactly how you wanted it hey Janice No problem, William. All right, let's get our bunny ears right, and then I'll have the rest of it. Now, how did he not turn out right? Wait a minute. Okay, that's because he's got to go over here, and this one's got to go over here. 
There we go. Now we're right. See, I know I made that double twist, and I know I was going to make it go in the right direction. I'm sorry. That just drives me nuts when I see a wreath. And say somebody's making a tractor wreath, and you got your tractor ribbon upside down. That drives me insane. Shouldn't, but it does. Now this, I think I'm going to do a little curl to. Okay, that's... It's turning out really long. We're going to snip some of that. Where's my huge scissors? Yeah, because I got the, those there. I don't know how that one turned out so long. Oh well. You'll have this. There we go. Like it, like it, like it. Now it's doing what I want it to. It just had to be a little stubborn. Okay. All right, now I think what we'll do is we'll add a few of these. Let's see. Let me just see something for a minute. I want to take this down here, so just off to the side. Like right there. And maybe I want to balance it over here. sure about that. Could take some of these off and put them in here just in other spots. I don't know. Wait a minute. These are kind of cute too. Mm. I mean, my carrots, they just don't work for me. It's, it's just the, it's just the orange isn't working. What do you think so far? Put one going downward? Like that? Kind of like that? Or... Do we just put a few of these around in different places? Thoughts? Comments? Suggestions? What do you want to see? Thanks, Sue. That's my gnome, which I, you know, all my, all my gnomes are for sale, $22. My signs are 10 and the room ones are 12. And this is another one I just did because I have some horse customers that wanted a horse license plate for the front of their car. Or if you have a teenager that likes horses and 
what you do is you bring the ribbon through it like this. I just use this as, a, as to show you how it would go. You would actually glue this to here and glue this up to here, which will hold it. Put a nice bow up here. What do you think? Too much? Or maybe this one should go like in here. just the one. What do you think? Hi, Teresa. How'd your live go today? Sorry I missed it. going on. Thank you. I don't know. I think you maybe just stick with the three right here. Or take some of these off and just put the eggs in the middle of the middle of the um, tails. I have some other eggs, but they're not glittered, so I didn't think I wanted to add them because I thought it would kind of. No, it doesn't. Doesn't look right. Um, big hard for me to look at it from that angle it's kind of big I think too big doesn't need any more now I think you're right I think I just tie these off Straighten them out and be done. And there we go. Yeah. I know, maybe I'll take one of these eggs over here. Have this one. Go down here, and this one kind of peek up here. There. Now I like it better. And I did pin to the top. Oh, I'm not liking this. My bunny ears are upside down here at the top. There we go. They got to be going down. Good night. got to be going down too. Thank you, Janice. Thank you. I didn't jack it up too much, but just enough. <laughs> I thought you were saying bravo. See that? It's a lot of work in these signs. There we go. Now everything's going the way I want it. Yeah, I think that's it. And the 
this bow, I have enough in the tinsel tie to work it up here as the loop to hang it up. Double duty. There we go. Now it just feels like it needs something like right here, right here, and right here. I don't know. I'll mess with it. Or now see this still doesn't go. If these were smaller, like it would hang them dangling downward like that. But these will get stuck in the door. I think we're good. Nope. What about? That's what it needs. It needs a little bit. Your bling. We need some of this just to give it a little sparkle down here. I have the yellow. That wouldn't take away from. Oh no. Little Miss Miracle has a cone head. Oh. That's what it needs. Just needs a little bit of that. Let me get the yellow. Just needs a little bling still. It's an Easter thing. what it needed. We gotta jack it up, Levon. Bling it out, girl. There. That's what I wanted. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I know you get me. this out. I thought I was Wonder Woman. I could break that right. I'm jacking it up. Harless, tell mama I'm jacking it up. That's green. We don't want green. We want yellow. That's what it needed. Just a little bling. It's an Easter thing. Right? Miss Miracle has a cone head. Poor baby. Miracle. Miracle. Well, welcome, Nicole. We're almost done, but it's all on under videos. So if you miss something, you can go back and check it out. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We're just putting a little 
tubing. Deco mesh tubing in here just to give it that extra bling. We're doing what we call jacking it up. Well, welcome from Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, that's what we needed. I'm loving it. Jack it up, jack it up. I'm going to have to make a sign. One that says, jack it up. Okay, that's my next sign. We made a wreath on our 14 inch wreath base. We used 21 inch mesh and did 10 inch poofs on the bottom. Then we took um, a blue and a yellow 10 inch mesh, cut it at 18 inches. And then we did the woodland ruffle on it. And then we jacked it up with some ribbon tails. I sell the signs. I sell the, the gnomes. I sell the, the egg ribbon, the bunny ribbon, and the leopard print ribbon. All in stock. This is what I wanted. I wanted to bling it out. And Levon likes when I jack it up. So we're jacking it up with the tubing. And I'm not cutting it any specific way. <laughs> I am just wrapping it and tying it over top of the uh, ribbon tails. We added a few colors to the bow that weren't used in the ribbon tails just to give it that extra pop. And there we go. All right, now I'm gonna look on the second le level because like right here and right here, I'm going to add some t some of the tubing. Okay, so here we'll add the yellow against the blue. And, and that has like a blue tint in it. So that is going to play off of that mesh. Ooh, I'm loving it. We blinged that thing. Look at that, your neighbors with Levine. That's cool. All right, one more, and then I think we're done. But because y'all stayed till the end, how many we got on? 15. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at another few signs. And for those that left early, They'll just have to watch the replay. Oh my gosh, look at that against that. Oh, that's what I wanted. Just a little spice. Yes. Oh, perfect. What do you say, guys? Did we bling that thing? It's an Easter thing. How's that look? Can y'all see it? I'll zoom it in for you. Oh, wow. Awesome sauce. That's it. All right, I'll show you two more. Okay, you saw the unicorn one. That's one of my newest ones. Yay! And this is a new one. Lemonade one. Yvonne helped with the design of this one. And then 
we have a new bike one. Now this goes with, and I don't think I have it down here, there's flowers that are purple, pink, and green. And this sign was made to match the flowers in the ribbon. So there you go. You got a sneak peek at the two signs. I know, right? I, I, I wish they would make lemons pink. I have some lemons, I may paint them pink because just to spruce it up, I could really go for a nice glass of lemonade. But too much sugar, it's not on my keto diet. So, oh well. All right, we'll recap. We've got the horse one, and we'll go over the children's room ones again. Here's Gordon's room. Here's Monroe. This is really a hot um, decorating one this year, okay, is the deer. And even the little girls' rooms are in deer. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> and there's a construction one. The youngest of the twins, he is into, uh, into construction vehicles. And this is his sister, Eve. That'd just be cute to put over their crib, don't you think? And then we have, I hope my other daughter-in-law is not watching, we have another grandchild due in June. And that's for Nolan's room because they just painted these mountains on his wall. And then Noelle, she's into unicorns. So there you go. There's my new children's signs. And the horse one, you have the, the gnome one there. And now we have the lemonade, stop and smell the flowers. It was Yvonne's idea to do the dark spokes. Oh wow, cool. And then the unicorn one. Unicorns are big this year in design. So, and then we'll be coming out with another gnome wreath soon. So we've got the ladybug gnome. I don't know if you guys can see that. I may have to hike up the camera. But we've got the ladybug gnome. Nothing bugs the lady or enjoy the little things. That's our other gnome wreath with our gnome sign. And then we have over here, dream big little one. And this also comes in pink. And I have matching lambs. And then we have, here it is in pink. This is gonna be for a little girl's room and we're gonna put the name here. So that's another one. The bee gnome is upstairs. And here's the other one we made with this. This comes in pink also. And the little boy's initials are going to go in here. This is a kit. Um, the This is a kit too. So there you go. Several cute, cute um oh well here the gnome is upstairs but here's the gnome sign the bee gnome there's the bee and i had these wings designed i did all my own fabric for the gnome i pressed the fabric okay well, you know what happened? I had a bunch go out as orders. So, and then we have, yeah, here's the, I go to sleep counting deer, not sheep. Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. 
We have follow the sun, and this matches that bike ribbon. We have the bike ribbon for sale. Seek beautiful things. And the be kind and enjoy the little things. So there you have it. There's all the signs so far. More are coming. But if anybody's interested, you just send me a private message through Robin's Wreath Signs and More. I pinned it in the comments at the top. You just go on, tell me which ones you're interested in. You give me your zip code. And when I have the shipping figured up, you send me your PayPal address. And when you pay for your invoice, your stuff ships. That simple. All right, I'll have to make another B noom. Right? I had a bunch of ship out already. But I'm glad you got your stuff. And oh, all that must have ended up on the floor. If you are in need of a logo, you just send me what you want to see on your logo, what you've envisioned, and we make you a logo. Logos running around 30 bucks. And you get two files. You get one for a sign, and you also um, get one made for Facebook. Because that's not easy to um, size down. So we size it for you. And we also have the aprons with your logo on it. Oh, and these are the little signs. We have little signs too. If you go to my website or you go to the um, Facebook page I have pinned at the top, you can see under photos what we've got so far. Okay, any questions? If you missed any of this, you can just go back and hit, go look under videos. When I get my thing working, we hope to have everything downloaded on YouTube. It's causing me major headaches. It's not working right. Okay. All right. I think I got puppy poop to take care of. <laughs> so I appreciate you all stopping by and sh spreading the love. I'll be on again Wednesday if I'm not traveling for the funeral. So I surely will as I make another one. <laughs> okay. If I miss somebody's comment, I will go back and get back to you. I'm so glad this is down here because I can walk away and take care of the mess later. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you. And I'm glad you could stop by. All right. All right. See you Wednesday at 2. Right here.